What's up guys, Sniper Nick, tuning back in here. As you see, we're going to go over a quick trade, jumping right into it. CLBS, a $650 win on a nice 15-minute trade. And even though it was $650 win on literally like a $3,500 position, there we still, you could have made a lot more. We let, I would say this was considered kind of, it, it was traded by me and I would say my execution was kind of poor. So I would say I even did a bad entry and a bad exit. But not too bad, you know, I'm not, and I'm definitely, you know, I, I'm happy I was able to uh, grab this one and always use it to improve. So check out this video real quick. So jumping right into it, you see CLBS, it's coming to the end of the day, 343, and we're seeing a breakout at the end of the day here. Right? So I'm looking actually, getting ready to buy. You see, I really only have 3,500, so I don't even have that much in the barrel. But I'm letting it play out a little bit because it is 343, all right? This stock has come a long way today, 55%. However, I do really like that it's holding it. Um, but I really wanted to see it go ahead and test. Uh, the one-year breakout was actually at like 637, I think. And so I kind of wanted to see it test that and then maybe grab it on a dip around there. So I was being as patient as I can. Honestly, though, this is why I'm saying about a, you know, I played, I always play it kind of safe. Like I like to always confirm, you know, and not look at it. We're saying, let's, let's do it, you know hitting up the snipers but we but you know i like to kind of like play it out so i'm waiting the entry but you could have grabbed a great price around here you know risking you could see there's support right here uh what would you say like 575 580 support you know holding throughout the day you could have went ahead and you know it did look like you know with volume picking up it could definitely test this high could have grabbed it and I know sniper Mike and shout out to a couple other people that did grab it in the chat room so good stuff there but anyway I was just waiting I was being patient just checking so now we're just kind of sitting back here and we're just I'm, I'm just scoping it out so let's see what's gonna happen so now it's going to test so now I went and test and then we got a dip here so I sped it up a little bit as you can see and as is, I, I really like that I went ahead to test, and it looks like it actually did make that new high and then came back now. Now now we're all with it. Here we go. And I'm talking about another stupid ass stock. This is the one to go in. All right, this is a low flow play. It's made a new high a day at the end of the year. At the It's 52 week high, sorry. And it's, uh, it's pushing with volume. There's only 11 minutes left on the clock. It's got buyers, buyers, buyers. And now we're seeing more of a push. Check this out. So as you can see, I grabbed it on a little bit of a dip, and I want to get it back to go and test and get more of a rip. All right, it's trading really, really great volume for its average volume. Right, we got that news catalyst, so we're seeing a push here. And also, low floats have been hot. So you know, if you've been around, if you stuck around in the chat and stuff like that, you've seen these low floats been able to take off. And this is also lining up with some key times, you know. So check this out, 652, 653. Now we're up. I'm up big. All right, I'm really liking this right now. Now I wish, you know, they keep on saying put more, put more. The group wants more in it. We get that high. It's holding that high. You know, I wish I would have initially put more on that dip. Um, I wish you even could grab that dip. You could even grab that dip a little bit lower at like 617. But check this out. Now we're riding this wave. So we know. We only got nine minutes left. I'm feeling pretty good right now. You know, if you did go really big, <clears throat> you're up. You're up a really good amount right now. You know, pretty quick. You know, you got like a five percent push, and now it's dipping a little bit. So let's see where it holds this dip. It's eight minutes left, right? So we shouldn't be too worried. You know, I would say I was risking. I really didn't want to get back below 6, so I would say that was going to be my cut around 6. As you can see, as we fast forward a little bit more, now we get more of a push. So it held that dip very nicely. I just let it play out, and now I'm just going to let it ride and see how we do. And here we go, 7 minutes. I told myself, if it gets to like 690 before the close, or right around the close, I'll definitely take some because that's an easy 10%. And as you can see, I got in at like 348 or 
or so. So and now we're getting even more of a push. So check this out here. This is a beautiful play. This is a play that you definitely want to be all over. I know a whole bunch of people were all over it um, in the chat. And a whole bunch of longs were just cashing in here. And this is just an ideal play as we go. And now you're hoping if anybody was actually trying to short this thing, they're about to get squeezed the shit out. This is also a low float. So, you know, it could run if it really sees volume. So it is catching momentum. And we're still pushing with five minutes left. And now, just in case it does get a good push, I go ahead and I have half my shares ready. Now, this is an ideal play. Now, we are over the PDT, so we've been just been able, you know, to secure, even though we, like, freaking trade with the amount, like, we're under the PDT. We're way over it, and, <laughs> uh, well, not way over it, but, uh, but, but, uh, you know, it gives it, it it allows us to be a little bit more flexible. If I was under the PDT, I'd be definitely comfortable with letting this trade ride out overnight. Um, now being over the PDT, you know, I'm gonna go ahead. You know, set ten percent this quick. I'm looking just basically a half sell. That's it, and letting the rest ride a little bit unless we see a really really nice squeeze. So let's see how this plays out. You know, it is still holding up. We do get another dip here. This could have been a nice dip to add into right here, you know, but it would have been averaging up. I would always like to average down usually. So we're letting it play out here. There's only two minutes left now. There's only one minute left and it's getting a little bit more buyers. It's holding this dip, uh, but I do like, you know, I do like that. I like uh, that it was at 684 at the close. Didn't quite get to 690. Um, and I do like that it's holding here. I wish it would close at the high of day, you know, but we're close enough. It is a low float. <clears throat> Being that it's a brand new spiker, though, I also would be able, I would be more comfortable with just getting out right away, you know, uh, if I could sell some of my shares quick. But it looks like now it's 402. We didn't get that push. <clears throat> but let's check this out. Let's check out after hours, right? The slow float gets a strong close. Now it's kind of after hours, a little bit testing that high. You know, as you can see, volume calmed down a little bit. And so I'm just saying, you know, if we get around seven, you know, now, I mean, I've been only in the trade for about two minutes now, I mean, 10 minutes now, maybe a little bit over. <clears throat> and we're just, we're checking out the scene. You see that it's actually moving a little bit now after hours, and it looks like it's actually pushing a new high after hours. So I'm like, hey, if it wants to take half a mile right here in 10 minutes, I'll go ahead and secure the bag on about like 300 bucks in 10 minutes right here. An ideal play that you see all the time. You see these things all the time. It's just about being prepared and being ready for these opportunities. And if you are ready, you know, we're on our phone app. So it's just, you know, capitalizing right here on your phone app. Just, you know, be, it's flexible. You know, you could be in the bathroom at work, whatever you got to do, you know. I'm working a full-time job, and here we go. Now we're getting a push, as you can see. This is very nice. You know, I could easily secure, or like I said, if I was under the PDT, or if I wanted to ride it out a little bit, it could be a little bit riskier. But, like, I, 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 like earlier, you know, I... I like to play it safe, so if you see that quick profit, you know, where do you see gains like that? 10% in 10 minutes. And now it's getting more of a push, right? So check this out. If I said if I got a quick push, like a pop to like 735 area, 745 right here, why not take it? Why not secure the bag? Now it's, you know, almost 15 minutes I've been in this. And uh, I could be securing around a little bit over 500 right now. And now we're seeing a push even more, and I'm just like, wow, if it could just take us right here. So I, I got 6, 4, 745 ready just to see what it would do. Now I'm thinking about taking the whole thing out. And we are getting a little bit of sellers, but here we go. Here's a little bit more of a push. And again, just an ideal trade with the ideal setup. You know, you'd be able to see that in the sniper scope. It was already set up in the sniper scope on the chat. So anybody that was in the chat, you know, very ideal. From three to four, you get that update on the sniper scope. Could have found this one. And there you go. There's my sale, and that's a nice $600 game. But check this out. I want to go back and big ups to my brother, Mike. Crush this freaking trade. 
it's amazing. He was able to take out some money from his account. You know, he's really just trying to build his account. But, hey, such a big trade like this, you could congratulate yourself a little bit. He made over 2000 I think it was 2700 in an overnight play. And he got in late as well. It looked like, look, he got a, definitely a better position. So, look at him, 608. And he's under the PDT rule on the little and his small personal account. So, big ups there. And that's him after he sold it pre-market so in the morning no no worries check the stock out though you know like like most of these penny stocks they get just too overextended sometimes and check this out now we're getting a dip right back and now check it out after two more days you know the news was good but it was really just a low float and that volume look at that volume right there and now look at it pushing into it so good nice secure so i'm happy with that bag 15 minutes 650 plus and here we go. Check us out, guys. You can always go on our Instagram and go ahead and check us out. We're posting awesome stories on there. Always, we're pretty active. And also by posting, always reach out. Feel free to comment, DM if you guys want any. We we love some feedback, so send us send us that. And also, uh, check us out here on Twitter. You know, we're posting stuff here live during the live trading hours. So you can always check us out there and uh, send us some love that way. And then lastly, on Facebook. Uh, we got a group going, so you can always check us out on Facebook. Our website is now live at www.thestocksnipers.com. You can visit us there. We're grinding there. We got the chat in there. You get to watch this every day in there. The sniper scope from 3 to 4. And, uh, you know, a lot of other cool things. Some training videos, some other training videos on there. Some weekly webinars. So, check us out, guys. Much love. I hope you guys picked something up from this. And I hope a whole bunch of longs got to congratulate themselves and, and, and learn from this trade. So let's do it, guys. Keep churning. One love. See you guys.